why does God hate sin? I'm, I, I want to understand his motivation for hating sin. Is it because of his innate holiness, or is it because of its harmfulness to, to humanity? Well, I, I, think, I think both, and I think the two are related to each other. The reason sin is harmful to humanity is because it, it does not resemble God. And humanity was created in the image of God <clears throat> and functions best, both as, an in, uh, as individuals and as a society. We function best when we are being like God. Uh, God made man in his image, and there was a loss of some of that. When man sinned, man became corrupted by sin and in that respect became unlike God. And ever since then, that has complicated human society, that has complicated human destinies, that has destroyed individual lives and relationships. So who wouldn't hate that? Sin is like a cancer in the, in the body of humanity. And if my child had cancer, I'd hate it too. I wouldn't hate my child, I'd hate the cancer. And God hates that cancer of sin because he can see, as, I mean, he sees better than we do, but we can see it well enough how many lives are destroyed by it. Just think of uh, what adultery or murder or divorce does uh, to so many people who are hurt by it. How many people grieve loss or grieve, uh, you know, the damage done by sin. Uh, we might think there are some sins that are victimless, but there really is no victimless sin because even if nobody else other than ourselves are hurt by our sins. We are hurt by our sins. God's glory is hurt by our sins. The Bible says all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. God's desire for each of us is to be changed into the likeness of Christ from glory to glory into his likeness. And sin is movement in the opposite direction. And God hates that because, uh, of course, it keeps us further from him and from his likeness. And it hurts us real bad. Uh, it hurts us in this life, and it hurts us in the next. It's certainly something worth hating. <laughs>